Agua. Welcome to another episode of Kathy Fernandez Spiritual Health. The power to change your life is within you. You just have to believe it. Join me. Our journey begins now. Do you feel you never attract the correct person into your life? Or what about you have closed your heart because you have somebody hurt you and you don't, you're not open to receive love? And what about attracting the partner of your dreams? A lot of people dream of uh, getting or finding this perfect person into their life and they don't come to them. What happened? Why are they, this energy doesn't get close to them? And soulmates, have you heard of that expression? Well, soulmates is is a, is a energy of somebody that is really matching your energy. But can you find that? How can you attract a soulmate into your life? Well, I can tell you that there's a crystal with a special energy that can help you attract and connect with the energy of love. It is the Rose Quartz Crystal. Hi, I'm Kathy, and welcome to a new episode of a Spiritual Health. A client lost her husband uh, around three years ago, and she never cried when she had this loss. Uh, even though she really loved her husband, uh, they were together for a very long time, but some way, somehow, she kind of blocked that feeling. What happened was that she felt guilty after that of feeling happy to doing things that make her happy. And you don't even talk about going out with other people because in her head, that was impossible. She have closed her heart. So I told her that that was not right. She needed it to heal the heart. She was still very young. So she could, you know, um, continue, uh, you know, opening or, or have the, uh, the desire to receive love, to go out with other people. But in her head, that was par part of being happy, part of, you know, that guilt that she felt because she lost her husband. She never, never grieve for him. When we lose somebody, either if they die or even if, you know, you break up with them, you have to go through a process of cleansing that energy. You have to cleanse inside, detach yourself from the energy of the partner. Otherwise, it stays lingering and it causes problems. And that's when you feel like your heart is broken and you don't feel like you can attract or you feel guilty like she did. So I suggest her to start working with the Rose Quartz Crystal. And she did. She worked with him, with the crystal. She started doing the meditations and different things to really release this energy out of her. And when she connected, she started crying. She cried for literally for two weeks. Anything make her cry. Watching a movie, uh, going out. She felt this, this sadness inside her that needed it to come out. It was deep, deeply in her. She needed it to release that energy. Otherwise, this eventually could have caused her a bigger problem, like an illness or so on. Anyway, when she did this, she felt like a huge release. Her heart was open and she felt an expansion in her chest. And everything that it was sad or guilt, it transformed into happiness and self-love. She went back to life. So, and not only that, but she opened to date. So she joined a dating platform and she finds somebody and now she's really, really happy connecting with people. But 
You know, L love is like that. If you don't have the, the, the opening or the space or the right uh, energy it, within you, you're not attracting that love. You don't really, nothing is open for you because your energy field is closed to receive that kind of vibration. Another girl came to see me, a teenager. She was around 17 years old. She came with her mother and she was finishing high school. She was really uh, not sad, but she wanted it to experiment. She said she had never had a, a, a partnership. She never went out with a boyfriend. You know, she'd never had a boyfriend or girlfriend. She had never dated. So, and she sees all her friends uh, with different love problems and uh, experimenting this. She never even had her first kiss. And of course, she felt bad because everybody is talking about this uh, connection, this special connection with somebody else. Her friends are going through that. They experiment um, the dating part of life, but she never have that space. Uh, I know she was busy, you know, because she was really into schooling. She was very smart, so she was studying a lot, but she says she was kind of open. So I said, well, you need to be open to receive because she was really pretty. And regardless if you, you know, beauty, it's, it, it, you know, it doesn't matter. There's, there's people for everybody. So um, she was sad. Obviously, she wanted to do something to attract that energy. So we, I suggest her her mother to buy her a rose quartz crystal. I explained her to the girl how to use it. And obviously she was very on top of it. She slept with them. She carries her all the time. She talked to the crystal. She meditated with the crystal, everything with the crystals. Well, same thing around a week or two, I don't know, maybe three weeks later, she found somebody. And it was like, boom, like instant love. She say, when they look at each other's eyes, she was like, wow, what is this feeling? She never felt that. So it was really special for her. She come back and told me that what she loved was the feeling in her stomach. You know, like those butterflies that people were talking about. She really explained it in detail of how Falling in love was such a great thing for her. Well, they started dating. And not only that, but it happens that the person she attracted to, they were going to go to the same college. They didn't even know they, you know, they apply in different times. So she was really happy and he was really happy. And, you know, that's one of the things of the crystal is that it's not only they call it the heart the heart crystal because it attracts love it heals the heart but not only it heals the heart but it creates a special energy circuit that helps you connect with your soulmate and you know, here, sometimes it's really hard, especially the Latin people. We, we very intense. We like love. We like to hug. We like to kiss. Okay. But sometimes life get busy and you don't really have the mindset or you don't have the time to go out on a date. But when you use this crystal, it helps you open up so you can connect to the energy of love. And this crystal also is very good for self-love because the self-love is the key. You have to have that self-love. 
is the key to attract healthy love in your life. Yeah, because you can date, but if it's not a healthy relationship or a harmonious relationship, or it's not good, it's not compatible to your energy, then it's not good. But when you do the self-love healing, which this uh, crystal does for you, it harmonizes you. And then you, you get open to attract the same quality of love. So uh, this crystal also creates harmonious relationship between uh, families, friends. You can put it in your heart, in your house, even for the whole family to feel that love. So, and that prevents or helps, you know, to have healthy arguments in the house. And obviously, one of the, the, the biggest thing of this um, crystal is that it opens you for what we call the unconditional love, which is the, the universal love. And to me, crystals are like beings of life. They have their own life. They are alive. And depending on their composition or quality, they can broadcast a vibration that is transmitted to your body or environment and take this quality. So it, like your body will take the quality of the crystal. Okay. And there's many ways to use crystals, especially this one. You can use it in jewelry, like a ring, like I have here. This is a, a, a pink or rose gold crystal. You can use it, use it in your home as a decoration. You can put it under your pillow. You can use it in, in rituals. Even They even sell uh, face massagers, like rollers for your face. You, there's a fantastic face mac, mask that you can put on. And it helps you reconnect with that self-love and unconditional love. And how to pick a crystal? Well, in my opinion, the crystals pick you. Even if you buy it in a store or if you buy it online, you have to take your time and see which one is attracted to you. If you're in the store, you're going to hold it and you're going to feel the energy. Another important thing to take in consideration for crystals is that it's, it's good to cleanse them because they, they, they get the energy, like they, they fill themselves with the energy of the environment because they help balancing the energy. So it's good to clear them to clear the, the, the crystal. You can use uh, sea salt, you can use just running water, you can use your breath to clear the, the crystal. You can smoosh the crystal like you smoke with it, like um, any herbs to, to cleanse it with. And also you, you need to charge your crystals. You charge it either in the sun, in your altar with your intention, you charge it in the moon. It doesn't matter. You use your intuition to charge your crystal. Then what happens when the crystal breaks? When the crystal breaks, they already give up their life for you. <laughs> so they acquire or they fill themselves up with this. Usually it's heavy energy that makes them break. So it's almost like they prevented something happened to you sometimes. So you have to send them back to nature. You can throw it in the water, like in the ocean, in a river, or you can just bury the crystal. It doesn't matter, but it's, it has to go back to nature. When you pick a crystal to work with it, treat him as a friend, like a friend, like if it's your friend a partner that brings you light into your life. And this partner help you to benefit with this energy. So connect and be grateful for his service. 
They are wonderful beings, just like you. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you next time. And don't forget, awaken your magic. Agua. 